Welcome back everybody. This is Dave with Spider Monkey 2A and we're back out at the range and today we're just going to zero in uh, my second choice for this year's whitetail season for my short range hunting. Stick around, should be a lot of fun. Okay, so as always, I like to make sure all my rifles that I would use possibly for deer hunting are all zeroed in when the deer season approaches. So that way, if I decide to take something else, I know and can be confident that it's gonna be okay. I am so sorry, it is very breezy out today. Hopefully you can hear me fine. But this time, guys, we are just zeroing in my Savage Axis, Standard Axis, in 350 Legend. I like this one, I do. I've never killed anything with it. So I was thinking possibly, possibly, <laughs> if uh, I'm hunting in the closer range blind that I'll take that out. More of a brush style gun. I know everybody's gonna say, I shot deer out of 400 yards, great, good for you. I would use it for shorter range within 100 yards, which is probably the max that I would have at our closer range stand. Um, for my longer range, I'm going Creedmoor or Grendel. For shorter, I'm gonna go with the 350 Legend. Now, what I'm excited to do, guys, is I haven't shot these or grouped them yet, these are the Winchester Extreme Point 150 grainers. I do believe I've shot the 180 grainers and I had so many comments from people saying that the 150 grain just turned the insides into mush when they uh, shoot a deer with it. So I had to pick up a box. I'll probably go pick up another one if I like how it groups. If not, maybe I'll go with something else. But I think it'll be just fine. We got our... Uh, paper target out at just a shade under 100 yards so we'll put the close-up camera down there um just what we're using for a rig guys like i said standard axis with 350 legend horrible stock but i this is one of those rifles that i just don't know if i'm going to keep around but you know and i just didn't want to soup it up but the, what i did do with it for the trigger and it was like a 10 to 12 pound trigger so i put the m carbo conversion kit in there it's a couple different springs you had the choice of like a two pound or a four pound, but I found out that the two pound was like a half pound. So I just combined both of them and it's right at about three pounds. So I don't know what was up with that, but it's where I want it to be. And as far as an optic, we're just using the Crossfire 2, four to 12 by 40. And it has performed very well for me. I got the Vortex rings on there. Um, other than that guys, not really much to say. So let's get you set up down by the target and we'll fire off a couple shots. All right guys, so we got Got you set up down there. Like I said, just a shade under 100 yards. This 150 gram extreme tip, what's it called? Extreme point, whatever. Yeah, extreme point. If anything else, that looks nasty. Okay, so we're gonna do a three shot group. I should probably do five, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure I'll use this ammo. And if I do, I don't wanna waste it all because this, if I remember right, this was a little bit pricier as far as options for 350 Legend. Um, you can find some cheap ammo and you can find some really expensive ammo just like anything else. Okay, so I just got the cheap Amazon bipod and sandbag behind it. So hopefully I can keep steady enough. Move everything out of my way here so I have no excuses. So bad shots, it'll just be me. All right, I did put this on paper before this, just to verify we were somewhat close. All right, here we go. Didn't feel confident about that one. We're shade right. I think that one was me, 100%. Kind of wobbling here on the truck. My excuses, anyway. <laughs> If I do better with these two, we'll load up another one. I felt a little bit better about that one. Throw one more in there. Or we got one more in there. We might throw another one in though, just because of that first one. You know what I feel that's good enough anyway let's go down and take a look
Okay, as we're walking down there, I did throw one more in after I shut the camera off because I'm kind of a butthead like that sometimes. I started walking down there and then I was like, no, I want to throw one more in there because I wasn't the most confident with that sandbag and cheapy bipod. So I held it as tight as I could and the shot was okay. <laughs> and I forgot to put my freaking ears on. So I'm ringing pretty bad. <laughs> But that's the way it'll be during whitetail season. But, yeah. Ugh. The hearing's going as is. I gotta learn. But anyway, we're coming on down to it. Take a little look. Shut my other camera off first. There we go. Anyway, sorry about that. I probably should have done that before I walked down here. Okay, guys. So, not the greatest. So the first shot was this one, and I 100% knew that was me. Uh, I was wobbling all over there. It's breezy, my excuses, whatever. And then I had a shot here, which I felt better about, than the third one there. So I was going to settle for that, but then I decided to go one more, and I shot that one up top. I believe um, the close-up will tell a different story if I'm wrong. Either way, these are the three that I was confident in. At 100 yards, the 350 Legend, in more of a brushy area, I'm okay with that, 100%. Uh, not a high precision scope, not a top notch setup there as far as rifle wise, ammo wise, probably not the best to use, but I've heard good things, so I wanna give it a try. Frankly, I just wanna kill something with this 350 Legend, and we're coming up on whitetail season, so I'm excited to give it a try. All right, everybody, there you have it. Short little video, just us getting our, uh, our short range option, shorter range option, I should say should say oh my god i can't speak today but anyway coming up for our 2023 whitetail rifle season here in southwest wisconsin uh, i'm out of breath walking but anyway i'm confident in this one i'd be confident with it probably out to 200 yards but the stand that i would be using it at is going to be 100 yards or less no problem i think this will work just fine all right everybody there you have it this is dave with spider monkey 2a give us a like maybe share this video i hope you subscribe hit that bell for notifications so you know when the videos come out hit that super thanks for feeling generous if not no big deal and as always thanks for stopping by